Philip uh, asked about getting tangles when he's trying to apply a little bit of power, uh, maybe going for longer distance or dealing with the wind. And that, a lot of people used to say, oh, you create wind knots. Uh, that's usually not the case. It's actually more often than not a tailing loop. Now, I'm going to try and demonstrate a tailing loop for you really slow uh, on this cast. And what happens is that fly line and that leader and that fly will sometimes come underneath and cause a little knot. So on these next couple casts, I'm going to try and throw them real slow. And we'll see if we can get a shot of this. When that fly line comes underneath, sometimes that leader and that fly will actually hit itself, causing little overhand knots. And that tailing loop right there is a very, very common problem. A lot of folks uh, tend to get those tailing loops, like I said before, when you're dealing with windy conditions, trying to get a longer cast. Well, here's a couple causes of tailing loops, and then we're going to talk about a couple different ways to correct them. By far, the most common cause for a tailing loop, and this happens especially to us guys, we just try to push it way too hard, try to make that real long cast, cast all the way across the pond, and that's just overpowering the rod too soon. When we make that cast, we want to try and make a smooth acceleration and a smooth acceleration to that abrupt stop on the back cast here and the forward cast. If we flick it aggressively too soon and overpower that rod there, that's going to cause that tailing loop. You're going to get that mess and potentially get those tangles. So here's a couple tricks you can do to practice if you're getting that symptom where you're overpowering it and that line's tangling up. Make a low angle cast. I love these low angle casts. They're great for seeing everything. When you make that forward cast, just think it's a smooth acceleration. So start slow, accelerate, then come to an abrupt stop. That's going to give you a much nicer, smoother loop that's going to result in great turnover. That's that leader and that fly straightening right out. So just think, start low, smooth acceleration to that abrupt stop. Smooth acceleration to that abrupt stop. So that is by far the most common, just trying to overpower it too soon. Now another common cause of a tailing loop, it's kind of a, a punch. There really isn't much turnover with the hand when we make that forward cast. If I just punch forward here, just with my hiss, uh, fist, not using much wrist or that thumb to turn it over, that's going to cause a tailing loop right there. To get rid of that, just think, give a little push with that thumb. Get that rod tip to turn right over. When we make that cast, just a little push with the thumb, turning that rod tip over, that's going to help keep that loop open and roll it right out to those fish. And then finally, the third common cause of a tailing loop, well, I, I shouldn't say common, but it's a great way to demonstrate a tailing loop, is too short of a casting stroke for the amount of line. The casting stroke is how far back we go on the back cast to how far forward we go. Kind of looks a little bit like a V. This is my casting stroke, about here to about here for this much line. Now, if I all of a sudden shorten it up, there's the tailing loop. Too short of a casting stroke for that length of line can definitely cause tailing loops. So let's think about this basic cast. We want to make a smooth acceleration to an abrupt stop. That's going to get the line to jump out behind us. Then again, a smooth acceleration to a stop on the forward cast. Then we can lower that rod right back down. If we interrupt that cast by either too short of a casting stroke, too much power, or a punch, if you will, that's going to cause those tailing loops. This rod tip has to travel in the straightest path possible from back cast to forward cast. That's going to give us that nice tight loop right there. If we travel in a little bit of a concave path, just think high, low, high, rod tips high, low, high, that's going to cause that tailing loop to form. So just tell yourself nice and smooth, easy does it, not too far back, not too far forward, and a nice straight path, and that should help you deal with those tailing loops.